we are going to discuss subnetting by an example. Even you can think that uh, when you are uh, understanding a classless addressing architecture, the same concept can be applicable. So, whether you say subnetting in a classful addressing architecture or you call it how uh, an ISP can distribute the IP addresses in the classless addressing architecture, it refers to the same thing. So, let me explain you the concept by an example. So, suppose an ISP has given a block 10.0.50.0 slash 24 this is CIDR notation. So, 24 indicate the subnet mask leptonmost 24 bits are supposed to be set to 1. So, a block is given to you and organization have 16 departments in which they wish to connect the machines. So, here the problem is to find subnet mask, subnet address of all 16 networks and first and last IP of machines in each sub network. This is the problem that we need to solve. right? So, let me explain you what is given to you. This is the block given to you 10.0.50.0 slash 24. This is called what I said is this is called CIDR notation. If I try to write this 10 into the binary, this is the way how you can write. right? The total length of an IP address is as you know it is a 32 bits. So, I have divided it into the 4 segments of the 8 bits, right? If I try to write this 10 into the binary, how will you 10 in binary? Mein, dosto? Yes, right? 0, ye, ye aapka weightage kya hai? Iska 1, hai, iska 2, hai, iska 4, hai, iska 8. Hai. So, 8 plus 2 that makes 10. So, this is how I have written 10 into the binary. This is 0 into the binary. This is 15 into the binary, right? This is how we have written 15 into the binary. 15 ke liye mujhe kya kya chahiye? So, I have to make 30 to 1, 16 as a 1 and 2 as a 1 and the rest of the bits will be 0. You know this is re, this is 1, 2, 4, 8, 16, 32, 64 and 128. So, that is how you can write 50 and this is 0. right? So, this is the network address that has been given to us and the subnet mask. What is the length of my mask? 24. So, left and most 24 bits are supposed to be set to 1. That is what we have written here. Now, the question is how many subnet I want to create? 16. Now, please understand th this when, when the subnet mask is given to you like this, you have to understand that the 24 bits are actually net ID. It is also called a net prefix, net prefix. Now, what I need to do in order to create the subnet, I have to take few bits from the host ID part. Which one is the host ID part? This one is the host ID part. I have to take few bits. Now, the question is how many bits I will take? So, I have 8 bits in the host ID part and how many subnet I want to create? I want to create the 16 subnets. So, you know as you know subnet can always be created in the power of 2 and the bits that I have to take that, that I have to take from the left and most side. Right. So, if I want to uh, create let us say one subnet, right? W one subnet, I can take 0 bits. Right. If I have 0 bits, I can have one subnet. This is already that you have. If you want to create the two subnet, right? If you want to create the two subnet, you have to have a one bit. So, let me show you a subnet calculator, right? This is how you can think of. So, number of bits to take from the host ID part. If I take 0 bits, I can have 1 subnet. If I take 1 bits, I can have 2 subnet. If I take 2 bits, I can have 4 subnet. It is always in the power of 2, right? That you already know. So, for example, let us say if I have 2 bits, you know, if I have 2 bits, the possible combinations are 4, like this, that you already know. So, if you have take 3 bits, 8 subnet. If you take 4 bits, 16 subnets. So, in our problem, how many subnets we supposed to create? 16 subnets. So, from the host ID, how many bits I have to take? Yes, you are right, 4 bits. So, let me take the 4 bits, right? So, I have taken this 4 bits. So, my earlier uh, subnet length was 24 
I have taken this four extra bit from the host ID part. This was my host ID part and I am making it one, 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 one. So now my subnet mask in, in place of this 24, it's going to be slash 28, right? So now using this four bits that I have set to one, I can have 16 subnets and how to deal with that? So let me tell you what would be the address of the 16 subnetworks. So uh, if I go with like this, the first subnetwork, I have to set all these bits to 0. First subnet, 1. Second subnet, 1, 0, that is 2. See, you don't, don't think of this 8 bits. We have to play only in the 4 bits now because I have taken this 4 bits to create the subnet. Right, so this is 0, 4 times 0, that is 0. This is 1, this is 2 in the binary. Right, uh, this is how 1, 0 that you have written. If I convert into decimal, you will get 2. This is Yes, exactly 3, 2 plus 1, 3, this is 4, right? So if you continue like this, th this is 4 and similarly what, what you will get is this is actually your 5, right? This is 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, you, you know how to write uh, all these numbers in the binary, 13, 14 and 15. Because we have started from 0, the last number that we are getting is 15, right? So, if I am starting from 0 and last number is 15, total, uh, you know, subnet I am getting is 16. So, using this 4 bits, I am able to create how many, how many subnets? 16 subnets. So what I did in order to create the subnet, I have taken few bits from the host ID part. How, how, how many bits to be taken? Th that depends the number of subnet you, that you want to create. Suppose, uh, let's say rather than a 16 subnets, if I have been asked to create 8 subnets, how many bits I will take? Rather than 4 bits, I will take 3 bits. So, in that case, rather than slash 28, my mask length is supposed to be slash 27. Right? Okay. So, now, what I want to do now is, I wish to write down the first IP address of the first subnet, the last IP address of the last first subnet, and its broadcast IP address and then consequently I want to see what could be the subnetwork address of each block, right? So uh, let me switch to the subnetwork 1. So this is your subnetwork 1 but uh, you know just we called it 0 but I actually it's supposed to be network 1, right? So this was your subnet ID 10.0.50.0 and uh, if you remembered what we did was here my subnet mask length was slash 28 so I can write like this slash 28 right and if you observed you have a last 8 bits right last 8 bits like this and th these are the bits that we have taken from the host id part and for the host id I had 4 bits available. Now these 4 bits will help me to get the number of host. So if I set this all 4 bits to 0, 0, uh, my host will be first and th that is what my number is 10.0.50.0. Now if I change here, in place of 0, if I will make it 1, I will get the first IP address that is 10.0.50.1, right? This is actually 1 in the binary, th this four are, uh, these 4 zeros are going to remain 0 and what I am changing is here only. 1, right? Similarly, you, you change it here 1, 0. So, it becomes 2, 3, 4. So, similarly, if you keep going ahead and ahead, if you set all these 4 bits to 1, all these 4 bits to 1, what it get? 4 times 0 and the all last 4 bits are 1, then it is actually 15. See, 1, 2, 4, 8. If you do the summation, it becomes 15, right? So, 15 is the last address and last address is always the broadcast address. We cannot assign this last address to any machine. Similarly, I cannot assign this first address to any machine. So, what would be the first host address possible? It is 50.1 and the last host address possible is 50.14. So, in each subnetwork, actually total IP addresses that I can have is 16 as, as said in the problem, right? And 16 subnet. But I cannot assign the first IP address because it is the called the subnetwork address 
and I cannot assign the last IP address because it is called the root cast IP address. If you look at the second sub network, see this is where uh, I have written the second sub network. This is the mask, right? ये जो चार bits हमारे थे zero zero, इसको हमने change करके अभी क्या कर दिया zero zero one कर दिया. राइट right, तो अब आप इसको डेसिमल में कन्वर्ट करने की कोशिश करो इसके साथ आपका आईपी एड्रेस क्या था टेन डॉट यस जीरो यस डॉट फिफ्टी डॉट अभी अभी आप आपको यहां लिखना है तो नाउ इफ आई कन्वर्ट दिस वैल्यू इनटू डेसिमल व्हाट इज दिस वन टू फोर एट 16 तो मैं यहां क्या लिख सकता हूं 16 और इसकी लेंथ क्या है कितने बीट्स मैंने मास के लिए लिए है 4 बीट्स तो ये 24 प्लस 4 कितने हुए 28 तो दिस इज गोइंग टू बी माय सेकंड सब नेटवर्क एड्रेस राइट नाउ दिस इज द होस्ट आईडी पार्ट दिस इज द होस्ट आईडी पार्ट 4 बीट्स ये उसका पहला एड्रेस क्या होगा यस यू आर राइट टेन अब दूसरा एड्रेस दूसरा एड्रेस के लिए मुझे इस चार बिट्स में चेंज करने हैं तो पहले मैं यहां क्या करूंगा वन बाकी तीनों क्या रहेंगे जीरो तो ये क्या हो जाएगा वन राइट वन और यहां पे ये चार बिट्स तो फिक्स है क्या है फिक्स जीरो 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 वन अभी आप इसको डेसिमल में कन्वर्ट करो सो दिस इज वन दिस इज सिक्सटीन सिक्सटीन प्लस वन हाउ मच सेवनटीन सो फर्स्ट होस्ट इन सब नेटवर्क टू इज गोइंग टू बी टेन Likewise, if you continue, the last address you will get is this. You you set all the bits corresponding to host ID equal to one. So, ये क्या हो जाएगा आपका देखे one, two, four, eight, sixteen. If I do the summation, sixteen plus eight, twenty four, twenty four plus four, twenty eight, twenty eight plus two, thirty, thirty plus one, thirty one. So this is how you are getting thirty one. So this is the broadcast address or the last IP address. of the second sub network right and so what is going to be the last possible host address it's going to be 30 so this is the way how you can find out 16 sub network address first address of host in each sub network last host address possible and the broadcast address right so as i have shown you earlier you know if if i will look at like this this is going to be my first sub network address right this is going to be my first sub network address what is that yes you you are right it's a 10.0.50.0/28 right second is going to be 10.0.50. just now i have explained right it is 16/28 then the last one See, I, we are changing this four bits corresponding to this eight bits of host ID. We have taken away four bits for the subnet, like this four bits, right? So we are changing these values zero 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 one like sixteen times. So this will make it sixteen. If you count, this will make it. See, this is the power. You know, you have four bits here. So this power is one, two, four, eight, sixteen, thirty-two. and so the next address sn3 is going to be 10.0.50.32/28 like this this is if you count again this is 16 this is 32 so 32 plus 16 how much 48 so next is going to be 10.0.50.48/28 right so you can write a net sub network address of all the 16 the block like this even you can write the first address and the last address the way i have shown you just now in my previous you know page see like this this is the first address this is the last address that you can write right so if you continue like this you, you can always write all the network addresses for example i want to write this sn15 right if, if i want to write this so what's it going to be it's going to be 10 dot Zero dot fifty dot. Now see here again. You have four bits, which are set to zero. These are for host, and this is for subnet. So what is the weightage here? The eighth most bit weightage is one twenty eight plus sixty four plus thirty two plus sixteen. 
एक सौ अट्ठाबीस सिक्सटी प्लस सिक्सटी फोर प्लस यस प्लस थर्टी टू प्लस सिक्सटीन इफ यू डू ऑल दिस नंबर सबमिशन वॉट यू विल गेट इज टू फोर्टी सो दिस इज द लास्ट ब्लॉक राइट एंड इफ यू वॉन्ट टू फाइंड आउट द फर्स्ट एड्रेस पॉसिबल द फर्स्ट होस्ट एड्रेस दैट यू कैन असाइन वॉट यू डू दिस इज द you you need to set the this is all four bit set first address the first host address possible is how you will get 0 001 and so it, it becomes this is 240 plus 1 that becomes 241 so it's going to be 10.0.50.241 right and what is going to be the last possible address i have to set all the bits corresponding to host id equal to 1 and so if you do the summation if you convert it this values this four bits corresponding to subnet id where one four bits corresponding to host id where one if you write this in the, the decimal it becomes 255 and essentially this is the last address and last address means 10.0.50.255 so this is called actually a broadcast address that cannot be assigned to anyone So what is the last host fourteen address possible? That is ten dot zero dot fifty dot two fifty five. Right, friend. So let me summarize what we did here. Is we we have been given this block. We have been asked to create sixteen subnets. So what we did is we have taken four bits from the host ID part. And we have, we are able to write the first ID of each subnetwork and the last id of each sub network i hope you have learned this a uh, lot of things in this video i am going to upload similar videos which will take lot of example related to subnetting and this example will help you either to clear the exam like gate or maybe if you are targeting an exam like ccna thank you for watching thank you